Ninja and his team want in. Every single setup in the venue from Gaming Generations has been on airplane mode. Yeah. Since then, <laughs> if any setup got patched, it would have been a very big logistical nightmare. But Captain Elm Haystack now starting the first game. Haystack actually the Luigi playing earlier. Yep, with some really masterful grab combos. Now having to work it against Pichu. This is where those tactics might not work out. 85% already for Captain L. This is already a different game for Haystack. While Pichu might not have the range necessary to push Luigi out of shield grab range. Actually, you know what? What am I saying? He has the tether <laughs> grab now. Um, he has such quick moves on landing that I don't think Luigi will be able to shield grab him at all. So this is one of those matchups we're going to see the, the grab change actually really cost Luigi. He was definitely talking it up earlier that it has some utility, especially against the sorties. But here, uh, I think Haystack might find himself wishing he had the regular one from Smash 4 and all the games prior. And again, another PS2 starter. So maybe after this tournament, we go back and look at the data. Uh, we might see some slight centralization towards stages like PS2, but at the same time, I think people are just trying to get some consistency over anything, and PS2 definitely gives that as one of the premier neutral stages in this game. We're not seeing too much of a deviation from it. No one has really played on a counter pick like Castle Siege, or even uh, what we tried to do earlier with Unova. Um, right. Certain characters or certain players have opted to play there, but for the most part, we're staying. We're staying put here on Pokemon Stadium too. And even Lilat Man has been not seen much at all throughout Genesis Six. So it's interesting that you know, despite any uh, any feelings people had about the stages coming into the event, we're just really seeing them stick with the bread and butters. Yeah, and uh, thinking about bread and butter, I mean, right now. All of the bread and butter that Captain Zach, or sorry, Captain Hill. Captain has Landon, bro. Yeah, Captain Landon has, has applied is just getting him so much damage and so much stage control. Uh, Haystack's going to have to close something out soon because uh, this this gap is even getting wider and wider with three stocks still for Captain L. Scooping him with the down dash smash. down smash, bro. Down dash smash. And we got a three stock on the part of our British Columbian friend here. Captain L, man, one of the best in the business at just taking a character, dissecting every quality that they have. Yeah, he was one of the pioneers of the Badoo movement. Bidou, yep, Bidou, yeah, Bido, yeah. Uh, Bido, actually, a movement option that was largely removed in this iteration, right? Yes, but I believe fragments of it are still in the game, and yeah. you could still use it to some effect. I'm not sure, actually, what, what Captain L's control scheme is. That's great that you mentioned that, because I Honestly, completely forgot that very notable aspect of his play. Yeah, previously in Smash, you can apply different control schemes to get new and unique movement options that really centered around micro spacing. And for some people, they were like, I do not care for this. But for people like Captain L, he made plays with that. And, you know, unfortunately, in this game, it's a little yeah, different yeah. slash absent. But regardless, I mean, Captain L is showing us the incredible play, despite, again, Efforts with Haystack. Got that backer on the way down. Haystack, every single hit counts so much for him due to Pichu's lightweight. Yeah, and whiffing a grab against Pichu is devastating. And catching him with down smash, I mean, this character is menacing. He's so tiny, too. I think that's the most annoying part about fighting him. You can't get your hands on him. And yeah. plus, couple that with all his mobility, the very low lag on most of his moves. Yeah, he's doing a lot of drag down, and that spike always just like hitting its mark and. Making sure that it's just like, again, pressing whoever it's hitting. Captain L is sitting pretty again with three stocks. However, Haystack is starting to hit. Potentially, kill percent, he was able to tech that thunder, but wow, grabbing in the air as well. I did not know it could do that. Yep, he's got the Zare, uh, and like the falling plunger is the hitbox. Oh, it's the Zare. It's super funny, yeah. Oh, okay, it's not like fishing hook. Nope, nope. Right. Okay. Yeah. So Haystack all of a sudden on the board, getting the stock that he could not in the last match, but Pichu. Great use of pairing for both players actually this set. Both projectiles being nullified, Fireball and Jolt, or Thunder Jolt by parry, but again, it's not enough. Not enough to close the gap. You know what really grinds my gears? Is that Thunder Jolt is not a move in Pokemon. Thunder Jolt is. Right. Oh, Thunder Jolt isn't. Thunder Jolt is not. <laughs> Where, why isn't it Thundershock, man? <laughs> like, that's the little baby electric move, you know? But anyway, I digress. We wow. have Haystack standing right up into the very active forward smash from Pichu. 
Going to close out his second stock and potentially put him at risk of losing his winner's bracket run here to Captain L. Yeah, forward smash from Pichu, so devastating, both disjointed and multi-hit, and staying out for what seems like forever. Caught his earlier stock as he clipped him on the getup. Right now, he's looking to potentially take his next one as he starts ramping up the damage, 65 to 72. The Thunder sends him to the ground, he doesn't make a tech. And now he on his shield, accidentally zaring the platform. Again, having to watch out for that spacing because there has a mind of its own sometimes. Tech phase unsuccessful. Now on the platform into Cyclone, nullifying his hitbox. He's now off stage, trying to get back to Skull Bash. Getting spiked, and ooh, this is looking bad for Haystack. Jeez, and the down smash at the edge. That was, I think, like four or five out of the six stocks that Captain L took. All yeah. in that fashion. Down smash, like, sucks you win. Spin